please welcome um, Atsushi Funashi. Thank you for watching Nuclear Nation 2. It's the sequel of this uh, Fukushima refugee stories. Um, the, as you see the, in this movie, the evacuation life of these uh, Fukushima people are continuing even today. Uh, they are living in uh, uh, temporary housings and uh, more than 130,000 people out of Fukushima uh, are still living without their houses and then without enough compensation to restart their new lives. And uh, because of uh, partially the uh, fa failure by the government and uh, TEPCO, and partially this is, you know, um, it's nobody's fault. It's you know they it you know it's lost. The radiation is still there. Um, the radiation is still leaking from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, and the contaminated water is leaking beneath, uh, below the ground, uh, into the ocean. And nobody is uh, you know pretty much it, it's power. It, everybody's. Uh, hoping that this is going to solve someday, someday, but uh, unless uh, the, the Prime Minister of Japan, the Abe, uh, has said it's uh, Fukushima is under, the con under control. That's a very famous line he said in Brazil when there was a competition for the Tokyo Olympic 2020. And uh, Tokyo, the Japan won it. Uh, Olympics coming for 2020, but I have to say this was a huge lie. The Japanese Prime Minister said it's not under control. Radiation is still leaking. It's it's all it's going all over the place. And uh, as you saw in the movie, um, you know they lost everything. Not only homes, houses, and, and Furniture and the cars and, and animals. The people, you know, a lot of animals died. But also, there are a lot of things invisible uh, faded away. Uh, history, traditions, um, community. As you saw in the movie, there's a Chinese restaurant on the in the promenade, and then there's a meat shop. They bought the men, men, you know, the cutlet they could buy, and there's a sweet shop over there, and there's a promenade there, and they used to hang out there with the friends, and all those tight community, people know each other, are gone. And uh, some, you know, say, you know, the government, all, everything government does is trying to compensate by money. But there are a lot of things you cannot compensate by money. For example, uh, there used to be 600 children in Futaba town before March 11. Then, after three years, last April, finally they opened up the uh, elementary school and middle school and also kindergarten. Three years after the disaster, and you know how many children came over? Just 11. Just 11 children came over because right after this accident, people spread all over Japan. Uh, there are 47 prefectures in Japan, and out of 47, 30 into th 39 prefectures, Futawa residents just evacuated to. So majority of the people, they went to the, uh, this uh, uh, Kisai High School, then they moved into this uh, Iwaki you know, city, and into these uh, temporary housings. And uh, this film told about this majority group of the Futaba town. But one thing I have to stress here to you is that that's a part, it's just a part of it. The whole picture is that they spread all over Japan. And then this uh, tight community of this small town Futaba needs to really be dispersed all over the place. And then, you know, you can imagine the, how three years apart mean to the children. They go to the school or they go to the new place, 
And after three years, and when you ask children, okay, you want to go back to Futaba High School, you know, Futaba Middle School or Elementary School, they would say no. They want to go to the school they are going now. So that's one example. It's the community is gone too. So this film is trying to question that, you know, the cost of nuclear energy, you know, it's, it is beyond you know, something that the human beings can compensate uh, anyhow. You know, there's no way to, like, we can just fill in what we have lost. So it's it's really, um, I mean, like, it's kind of uh, um, very weird or um, strange for me to say this way, but, uh, you know, Faust, uh, Goethe is Faust, and it's a Faustian bargain. You know, you just sold your soul to uh, the demon. That's what it feels to me. What has, and what Japan has done. You know, if it's the we we are realizing how much we lost, and um, we didn't realize that until now. And then we have we we are we are really realizing we got to do something about it. We have to move away from this one. This uh, to keep using, you know nuclear energy. Thank you. Thank you. Seventeen, they are not be able to go back to their homes. 